Hey guys, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, back with another episode about the micro SDX. Yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video for you, um, and a lot has happened. <clears throat> Let's look into this. Recently, there have been, uh, yeah, USDX from China shown up uh, on eBay and AliExpress. Um, there are basically two different versions. This is one of them and just to make you aware of that uh, it doesn't even uh, Name USDX it's USDR so they are basically yeah, they are ref uh, Referencing to Guido's github site, but basically they took my my work um, regarding the The RF section and did not uh, in any way give credits to it and they are selling it uh, commercially. And at that time when that happened, um, it was only non-commercial use only, which yeah, I find quite shocking in the situation. On, on, on one side, I see it as a compliment that uh, this rig is getting so popular and interesting that somebody is copying it and, and selling it. And I see the benefits because now it's available uh, even for people who cannot or don't, do not want to build. However, um, there are a few issues I'm seeing here and I want to address those. Um, obviously, I do not have a radio because I will not pay for my own radio. Uh, and let's start with that uh, price they seem to be sold for around about like 140 to up to 200 dollars and or euros um, on aliexpress and ebay which is already yeah it's it's too big and you need to know and you need to understand that this price is in no way related uh, to its features or its uh, its uh, effort to build it um, the, the cost to build such a thing in china in, in mass production is below 40 dollars lower than 40 dollars even i can build in small quantities half built in china a complete qcx pre-assembled for 40 to 50 bucks so Paying 200 bucks for that or 150 bucks is a complete ripoff, and that should not be supported because you're not supporting us, the developers of that thing. You're just making some greedy Chinese guy rich. Sorry to say it that harsh, but it is the way I'm, I'm feeling about that. I'm getting a little bit emotional about that because we were never asked uh, initially. We were never asked if they could do that. Uh, it was clearly marked as non-commercial use only and still they are using that schematic and, and my, my work, our work commercially. So we wanted to close. Yeah, that, that's one. And this is the other one that's being sold. Um, besides the price issue and the, the copying issue um, you can see they they simply took Guido's GitHub page and copy and pasted that, put it through a translator, and that's it. No effort, no work at all. In case of this version here, this version, they added a battery uh, and some other stuff. And for this rig, uh, there's no schematic existent. So if you have a problem with that, nobody can help you. In case of this rig, the schematic is in here. I've, I've just shown, uh, yet they change it and I already saw a few problems. Let's address them real quick. Um, the first problem is they took my values. They copied them one to one, yet they changed the PA fed, which is critical. Uh, see, they are using the BS-170s um, and those values I calculated and designed around the IRLML 2060s. So this means you will suffer from bad efficiency, even though they claim different, and you will probably uh, have bad 
harmonic suppression. I can show you that real quick uh, because there was one measurement done by a group member. Those measurements have been published and if we look into uh, harmonic uh, suppression measurements we can see that they are really bad and you are way uh, below the, re the, the legal requirements. Uh, so bear that in mind. If you buy such a rig, and I wouldn't advise you to buy such a rig because of uh, the obvious technical problems, um, don't buy them. They are not good. Then there has been another issue uh, popping up because uh, people seem to have problems programming it because they simply took parts of schematics and assembled them without even thinking about that. And if you want to upgrade the firmware, you have to remove uh, parts from the schematic. So uh, it's not plug and play. You will need to fiddle around. You will have to solder. Um, what I could clearly see from the schematic that, um, yeah, not only reprogramming firmware will be will, will be giving you a hard time. Um, not only the uh, filters are messed up, uh, also the RF section layout doesn't look that good. And just to mention that, um, they added a, a char charging circuit in one case. This is known to be noisy. Uh, there has been another discovery. Let me just show you. This old man, David Feldman, discovered that there was a hazardous uh, situation, uh, basically uh, shorting the battery. Um, because if I read it right, um, the RF choke um, was contacting the metal housing. The RF choke carries 12 volt. The RF, uh, the, the housing is obviously on ground, so you have a big fat short which uh, fused uh, the internal battery and almost caused, yeah, like burning. Um, <laughs> don't, yeah, dangerous. The same old man, David Feldman, discovered uh, a whole lot more issues with the rig. Uh, I mean, you can read it for yourself, I do not need to repeat it. Uh, but bottom line is those rigs are not designed well, um, not built well, <clears throat> and you get the overall impression that those guys simply did not know what they did. Um, yeah, and since they are taking your money, uh, you should, exp and by the way, way more than it should cost, uh, you should expect that they work as they are intended to. Okay, so um, what we did, okay, now, th sorry, that's the technical aspect of it. Um, that was the financial aspect of it. Um, they were never given free at that time for commercial use. However, uh, I see some benefits. So what we did instead of closing everything up is we uh, changed the license of the sandwich yeah instead of saying no you can't do that we thought it would be wise to make that available for anyone who likes that so we applied a new license uh, which is creative commons attribution share alike international license this means you can copy it you can use it you can do whatever you like with it even commercially however if you do so you need to mention the source where you have that from and republish it under the same license. This means, um, yeah, if you if you take it, if you change it, uh, you need to republish it uh, under the same license. So the hem spirit we put into that keeps alive. Um, what we did, or what I did, um, I, I republished the Gerbers with out uh, the remark non-commercial use only um, updated BOM updated schematic and then we have the plug and play ah, sorry that's that's not the BOM we had before the for you to assemble those are in case you want to have them assembled by factory just to mention that so basically you now have all the tools to have them pre-assembled by JLC PCB 
you have the plug and pl uh, pick and place files and you have the BOM files. So you can choose the components and have that assembled for you in the factory. And that's uh, not only for the uh, I.O. board, we have that also for the main board and the RF board. I began my video with that picture and yeah, obviously I've designed a housing around that thing. This can be uh, downloaded and printed uh, from Prusa printers site. Um, you can have that. Uh, you, you can have someone in, in, in nearby print that for you if you don't own a printer. Own a printer, sorry, my English is so bad today. Um, yeah, this is the housing design for the, the classical sandwich with a standard height. And I didn't like the, the form factor of it because it was so high. So I played around a little bit reduced some uh, PCB component heights and uh, stacked it in a different pattern with uh, smaller components and called it the diet sandwich. Both, both housings are available. And in fact, uh, the, the files I've just shown you on my site, OLED uh, board, uh, main board and RF board are already in that diet fashion. So you can stack that. However, I would not advise to do so because <laughs> If you have any problem on the main board or on the yeah especially on the main board you cannot access it anymore um, this is why i i redesigned everything there will be a final version of the sandwich uh, where io board and uh, main board will be only one pcb um, and you will stack uh, rf pcb on the bottom of that this will be the final version and then I feel I need to stop here um, from that project because we, we I think we have, uh, yeah, anything we wanted to achieve, we have even uh, overdone already. So I need it. I think it's time to move on after that. But there will be a final version of that sandwich that will be just to, to make you aware of that. This is like... 33 millimeters. Basically, this will be the same form factor than this, a little bit uh, smaller. Uh, three millimeters smaller. And there will be a speaker here. This pattern will not change too much. Uh, however, the inner values will change. Uh, we, yeah, it, it will be OLED still. We will st still have the same buttons, the uh, same connectors. There will be a small speaker. I already told you so. Here will be a USB connector. Um, and the fun thing about that, I've just ordered the prototypes and even at the amount of five with all SMT components on there, uh, it didn't cost me more than 50 euros. And I'm just talking about amount of five and I'm a private person uh, and this is including shipping including taxes including um, custom import duties and and so on everything included um, now imagine what you can do if somebody is uh, organizing a group order or if somebody is doing that commercially like uh, our friends from hamshot.cz that uh, hamshot.cz did before um, you can do a full kit for below 50 bucks. And this is the goal. This is what you should keep in mind <clears throat> before even thinking about ordering a Chinese micro SDX because it's, it's clearly a ripoff and you get not the original and a very bad quality. So I would advise you not to buy one and wait for what's coming from us. Um, even though you will be needing to do a little bit of construction. Maybe they will even uh, provide that to you. Maybe it will be done by the same Chinese guys, but keep in mind, this whole rig should be below 50 bucks. Um, everything more is a ripoff. Okay, I think that was enough rant for today. I'm sorry, it was a bit longer and uh, not very well coordinated. Um, yeah, we'll be back soon. 
uh, when my, my prototype works to show you the final results because we didn't talk yet about the inner values, but we will do that at a certain time. Bye bye, 73, good luck. This was Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November.